Good morning, everybody. On January 24, 2011, a representative of the Toronto Police gave shocking insight into the force's views of sexual assault by stating, women should avoid dressing like sluts in order to not be victimized. Women should not dress like sluts to be avoided of sexual assault. I mean, that sounds a little bit crazy. I mean, does that sound like you're blaming the victim and not handling the situation? I'd like to talk to you about today fem about feminism. Feminism is a collection of movements, movements designed to define, establish, and defend equal political, economic, and social rights for women. I'm an activist at heart. I've gained leadership skills. Um, I've served my community for about five to six years. Um, hearing the Toronto's police um, statement, I was really appalled, and it really encouraged me to do some research about the situation, and it ended up me being at, you know, about feminism. I know what you're all thinking, and you're probably thinking, here's great, she's a feminist, she's going to be ranting on for eight to ten minutes about how angry she is and how she hates men, but no, I'm none of that. I am a feminist, I don't hate men, I don't burn bras. <laughs> Um, but I do believe that I have rights that aren't truly equal to, you know, other, you know, the other gender. And I just want to be happy and I want to be proud to be a woman. So today, I will be discussing first the need for feminism. Second, what can you do to join feminism? And finally, how supporting feminism is beneficial. Let's begin by telling you the need for feminism. Referring back to my introduction, the story about Toronto's police, women are being told to stop dressing like sluts to avoid being sexually assaulted. Sexism exists, and that's one of them. Um, it has spun out of control where a negative word is being used to rationalize inexcusable behavior. Let's keep in mind that the woman who actually tried to get a rape case was denied her justice because they claimed that she was dressed like a slut, therefore that was an invitation to the rapist to violate her. For many women, this becomes a fear to come forward about rape when they can possibly be blamed. Um, I know many of you probably know someone or heard stories about you know women being raped and I can say that someone close to me has, was afraid to even come forward about being raped because of the fact that, one, she could possibly see, oh, people were going to be blaming her, they're going to judge her, and, you know, awful things like that. But can you imagine if your sister or mom was wearing a dress or even a skirt and that meant an invitation for a sexual assault? The idea is sick. Being assaulted is not about what you wear, especially for women. This is basically saying for all you guys, if you're dressing like a gangster and you get shot in like by a gangster, well, therefore you shouldn't be dressing like a gangster because you know you were asking for it. Or that's like a Middle Eastern shouldn't dress like a terrorist or like a Middle Eastern because when you go to the airplane, you might be insulted by being a terrorist. Feminist activists have realized the need to stand up against the outrage of the Toronto Police's statement. As a result, Slut Walk was born, a march to protest the blaming of victims of sexual assault. From an article of an online article, Forbes.com, Eric Kane wrote about uh, New York City Slut Walk protesting and raising rape awareness. Kane said, People in the 21st century still believe that women are asking for it. If they dress in sexy clothing, it's hardly surprising and troubling. The, quick, the quicker we disciple this, these myths, the better. The needs, um, Kane, I really agree with Kane. There needs to be quick change because women 
and you know, not just women, but women also, you know, victimized, are suffering, and everyone's suffering from it. The demand for feminist activists is also called is called for action when it comes to young girls with self-esteem issues. You know, a lot of days, like you see, I don't know if many of you have younger sisters uh, or even younger cousins who are female, um, but a lot of them are struggling probably with how they look, you know, weight and also just self-esteem issues and then also relationship with other fellow female peers. You know, a lot of high school like girl fights or even just throwing up in the bathroom after every meal. It's really sad and, you know, part of that is, you know, standing up for feminism and telling them, no, your body is great and no, there's no need to fight over a boy. It's silly. And um, in the media, we can see a lot of girls hating other girls and, you know, we need to end girl hate. The, con the consequence could be fatal. To hear firsthand more about the need for feminism, you should all go to whoneedsfeminism.tumblr.com and check out many individuals sharing why they need feminism. It should inspire you to join feminism, but what can you do to join? Let me tell you. First of all, you don't need to be a female to join feminism. Anyone can join the cause because feminism affects everyone. From an article, see, uh, from Cal University, um, a woman's campaign, it reads, sexism hurts men too. Stating, feminist men, in addition to being allies in the women's liberation movement, have also examined how sexism affects men. Although in sexist societies, men hold disproportionate power, economic, social, and political. They also suffer from negative <coughs> models of mass Divinity, which are not only harmful to men, but also harmful to women. Um, here it is clear to see everyone needs feminism, um, both genders. Now what you can do to join is to do some re research like I did, and you can, um, find some insight on feministing.com, which is a feminist website, and it has like daily reports about, you know, um, also such as the slut walks and um, just victim blaming and then things like that. And then go ahead and take a women's studies class here at um, Fullerton College or find a Fem Unite Club, which is a feminist club. Um, it could be located at your school or in your community. After my research, I was able to join a feminist group with my cousin um, and feel free to be inspired to make your own fem Feminist Unite Club with your neighbors, classmates, friends, and family. Or start, um, or start making it aware to young girls, um, such as there's a national program called Smart Girls, which um, builds their self-esteem and just encourages them to love their bodies. Now that you know what you can do to join fe feminism, the results will show how supporting feminism is beneficial. I found being a feminist became a positive aspect in my life. Um, I was able to find uh, that happiness, the freedom, and the fact that I had a voice um, inside me, and I was able to be proud of being a woman. And also living um, in a house full of women, I encouraged my sisters and my mom um, especially as a single parent, you know, just to be proud that you're working hard and you're doing the best for your children. Um, programs for teens um, have been showing improvement with decreased self-esteem issues and increased healthy relationships with other female peers. The very first slut walk um, in Toronto was formed by feminists and has now reached out to many individuals raising awareness on rape. The Slut Walk campaign has said, we're grateful to say this cause and this message has spread globally with rallies taking place across Canada, into the US, Latin America, Europe, the United Kingdom, parts of Africa, parts of Asia, and into Australia, and we fully support other Slut Walks. Just check out all the progress um, the campaign has made from their webpage, slutwalktoronto.com. <coughs> 